So this is an old mirror that I used to have that stood on the top of a dresser drawer set that I had. And I have a magnificent idea to make this into a beautiful clock. And I'm going to remove these sides, this side and this side. And I also believe I'm going to remove this top side. So we'll just have the big square and that will be the face of our clock. So stay tuned to see what it looks like. Some of this has loosened and I do have a staple gun to staple this back up and seal it securely. So now I'm just going to get a rag and I'm going to clean this mirror off. and I've gotten all of the paint off that I do not want and I'm going to go over it with a stain, a gray stain. And I also have a light to add. Okay, so next, this is a neon flexible light runs by DC 12 volt extender to connect to around the rim. And I'm gonna show you while I add this and you'll see exactly how that's done. So I have not completely put the lights in, um, glued them or 
permanently place them in in any kind of way because I do have extra left over and I believe that this can be cut but I think I'm just going to double it over instead of cutting it. I'm going to lay my stain and I have this wood stain. It is by Burr and it is a gray, classic gray wood stain. And these are just some little staining pads that I picked up from Home Depot. Now that the mirror has been stained, um, this is going to be the dial for my clock and I'm going to stain this wood as well. And I also have some acrylic pieces that I'm going to lay on top of that and you'll see that as we get there. But now I'm just gonna lay my stain on top of this wood, which will be part of my dial for my clock. Of the parts that I'm using for my dial, this is an old trusty piece that we've seen many times. It's purchased at the Dollar Tree. This was purchased from Amazon.com. So if you've seen my videos before, you have seen me use this mirror tile, and this came from Shein. These on my dial for my clock, and I will put this like so, and then I will leave three available, and then we'll go to the fourth pointer, and we'll place the next one there. We'll leave three available, and then we'll go to the next pointing space and we'll add one there. Actually had just enough in order to complete this dial in this manner. So that's what it will look like. So next I'm taking this fish line and I'm going to tie it to the metal and the wood in order to keep them secure in place. So here is where the string has been tied to keep this dial in place at its security and the glue that I'm using is a Gorilla Glue these are the hands for the clock where the dial spin. This piece will just unscrew this. Just like that. Let me make sure that I have the right one on top. And I think I do. Okay, so I have assembled this and actually the hour hand goes on first and the minute hand goes on last. So this requires a double A battery. I have added Next, that. I'm going to take these command strips and I'm going to stick it to here and I'm going to adhere the back of this to the top of this, which will be my dial pad. So in the same way that we use the command strips to stick this to this, we will also use the command strips to stick this to this. So the Velcro did not hold very well. So we're coming back with this and we're gonna use this to stick the dial to the mirror and i'm going to put two strips of this on one on this side and one on this side and one in the middle
So this is used to make sure that everything is placed exactly as it should be. So this has a little hole here. I had popped that out yet, but we put it there and let you know what number you should be on now. So here's 12 o'clock. So it's like, it's almost like you guys are family. 